Hello everyone, it's lovely to be with you this morning at the, this assembly. Although of course it's not quite the assembly that we were planning for. In these challenging times, you've all been in my thoughts and prayers and I've been praying that you might be able to grapple with daily life as we're finding ourselves in it now. And maybe you've had a little more time to think and reflect and certainly to consider the world around us to observe all that's happening. I was tremendously helped by a friend who reminded me of some words of scripture, a favourite passage of mine when I wasn't well, and I want to read those to you now. It's from Isaiah 43. But now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I've called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour because you're precious in my sight and honoured and I love you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Words which remind us of the very heldness, if you can say that, of us in God's hands, whatever the circumstances. I know they're not new thoughts, but they are thoughts that we can easily forget in times of difficulty, when the chips are down and in the melee of this particular life as we have it at the moment. I also wanted to take this opportunity to thank those of you who've been kindly praying for me since my time in hospital and uh, since then. It's been very special to me. I can't really explain how and why, but amazing things have happened. I'm here for a start. And I want to pay tribute to our regional team of Jeff and Stephen and Colin, who have uh, been a tremendous support and help to me over that time. And I've always known that they've been there for me. So thank you to you all, and not least to Alan Kerry, who's been holding the reins as moderator for me until hopefully I return in September. I've been given the great privilege of ending this session of ours, of our assembly, with a blessing. But before I do that, I want to thank everybody who's taken part in this morning for all their contributions and for those who've had to put the programme together. It's not been so easy in this uh, digital way. I think an appropriate blessing for this time is the Aaronic blessing. And therefore, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make the, his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace this day and always. Amen. <laughs>